first. They are pretty straightforward. He punches and he punches really, really hard. All the punching, all the yeah. punching. He's Throw in got, the haymakers. That's exactly right. This is not a martial artist. You know, he, he is not, um, there's not a lot of finesse here. Right. One of the first moves I'd like to show is his forward four, which is like his pretty good advancing myth. He slams you down. A lot of his moves are high. So this is kind of one you want to use when you want to go blam, mid. Blam. Is that, that a, really is that a string right there? Yes. Got it. Yeah, the end is just a one plus three end part. You know I love them. <laughs> right. Another really, really good mid up close is his back one. And it has two options. Back one, one pops them up. And back one, two is mid, mid, and a safer. I really hope he's got some cool air combos, but we'll have to wait, I well, guess. I'm sure we'll see <laughs> He also has some really interesting mix-ups to open up the opponent. Like, for example, his sweep is pretty unique oh. because he drops down and does extra damage. Because he's that fast. Because he's super, super fast. What a show-off. He also has forward three where he literally just stomps the crown and creates an earthquake. So strong. And then I think this is one of his coolest moves. He has an awesome long-range overhead mm -hmm. where he zips across the screen super fast. And if he's up close, he'll zip behind you oh. and knock you down. And that's just the button. Yeah, it's just forward two. What? And you can see it has <laughs> really good range. Um, that's all. I, that's all I'm gonna need. That's it. Yeah, you can mix that up with the sweep. Man, he just loves putting people's faces in the ground. Yeah, <laughs> he's a strong guy. So let's go over his special moves. Great. Yeah. One unique thing about Omni Man is he actually has a lot of aerial mobility all of his special moves can be done in the air he has ground and air versions of all of them which is pretty unique to mk first one i'd like to show is the mega clap puts his hands together it's not pag hick it's the mega clap <laughs> sends them very very far it's a great combo ender with punisher on a mid-range footsie tool could you almost use it like zoning too exactly oh, okay keep yeah. them in keep them out doesn't, EX go, version, doesn't go full screen not full screen but the ex version goes even further and will destroy projectiles. Oh, okay. Man, he's just tearing up the ground. Everything he does. He also has this big charge mover. He literally just like <laughs> charges in with his chest. And we've all learned in the 90s in N64 wrestling games that if you put your chest yes. out, you're blocking moves. Mm -hmm. So he can just barge in. <laughs> and the EX version has armor. So this is kind of his advancing. You think they're gonna do like a projectile, you wanna get in. Kind of similar like a Johnny Cage shadow kick. Another special movie has that, and you'll see this, being able to close the gap is a reoccurring theme with Omni. Gotcha. Because he, he wants to get this, in there and punch. Exactly. Torpedo move. A superhero classic. He can do this in the air and it actually goes downwards. It'll pop the opponent up. Another move great for just full screen at any moment. You can see it's very, very quick. So this is interesting though because if you do it on the ground, you're not following up. Correct, but if you do it in the air, oh. you get to pop up. Very cool. I also uh, really like how uh, the the blood from his opponent gets onto his <laughs> onto his too, costume. Yeah. It's, it's, it, it's pretty awesome. Like, I, I know that we get blood on everybody, sure. but for some reason on him, it just looks real, real cool. It's just kind of <laughs> iconic with yeah. him, you know? Yes. Yeah. So then let's go over his most interesting special move that I think really sets him apart the Viltramite stance. So it's down back three, and he starts hovering in the air. And from here, he has four different moves plus a bunch of mobility options. Let's start with the mobility. You can cancel it, but you can also warp forward. Oh. Extremely quickly. And again, he can do this in the air like all of his special moves. This is, this is pretty awesome. And we'll go over his moves. The first, I think, is one of the key moves, which is the grab. And this is like, his main combo starter. You can quickly go into it. You can even go into it off of the low I talked about earlier. Just dragging people in with dirt. He also has this move where he zooms across super, super fast behind you. That's a great combo ender. It's a great check. You think the opponent might try to like throw something out when he's in the stands. You can quickly go into it. He also has an overhead from anywhere on the screen. He drops down. So it tracks. Exactly. Woo! And then lastly, a big anti-air uppercut. He zooms across and then covers all the upward space. So it's kind of like the upwards version 
of the zip behind you. I just love that spine break. It's so cool. I like the <laughs> facial animation. So then the question is, how am I supposed to go into this stance when you're doing projectiles, you're doing long range normals and all that, and he's, True. Just, he's just vulnerable floating there, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think Wrong. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't no, think no, so. No, no, no. So in Viltrumite stance, when he does it, he's immune to all fireballs. They will literally just pass through him as long as he's in it. And that includes in the air. That's, then, that's some of the coolest stuff I've ever seen. It's definitely it's awesome. It's pretty awesome. Just dodging. The EX version starts up faster and also makes him immune to normal attacks as well. And then he can go in and punish them. That's so cool. As they're recovering. Finding so, times to use that's going to be really interesting. Yes. And again, he can do that in the air. The EX version is very, very quick. That's going to be see. embarrassing, too. <laughs> it is very, very, very cool. That's awesome. I love it. And then lastly for his mobility, he has a unique air dash. This actually has a physical hit attached to it. It doesn't just pass through the opponent. So you can see he spins the opponent around for a free hit. And you can do so two cool. as long as you have meters. So you can do stuff like Whew. to do some really cool flashy combos. So you can use that to get in. You can use it to get out. And it'll always have that physical hit. So again, to recap that, if you just do it for the first time, it doesn't take any meter. But if you want to do it twice, like in a combo like I showed, right. it's mm -hmm. going to take a bar. Similar to how Natara works. Very cool. So I think in general, Omni-Man's a, a pretty, um, pretty simple powerhouse character to play, but he's got great mobility options, great offensive ability, and I think the Viltrumite stance is going to be super, super interesting. And people, yeah, people sometimes like... Uh, of my level, probably. When you hear stance, you get a little scared. But his stance is actually not, not, it's not your no. typical, like, it's not that hard to use, really. Right, it is not really hard to use, and he was not meant to be. He is right. meant to be, like, just like you see on Invincible. He is just an absolute, he's just tearing through people effortlessly. That's exactly what a design team went with, and I think they really know uh, it. it shows, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Super cool, I love it. Yeah, I, I think he's gonna be really, really cool. So would you guys like to see Tremor? I think we would. Um, you know what? Let's just save it for another day, Reeves. Just save just it? Just save it for another day. I'm going to vote yes. All right. I, all right I'm swayed. Okay, we'll okay. It. All right. So Tremor's one of the most interesting cameos in the game, and I can't wait to see our players use him because he has more moves than any of the original roster uh, cameos. Okay. Let's see how it works. So let's it works. do it. Let's do it. So we all know Tremor debuted in Mortal Kombat Special Forces, but he really made his big playable debut in MKX. Correct. Where he had Correct. three variations. Yes. And that's something our design team wanted to bring back. Mm -hmm. You can actually go Aftershock, Metallic, and Crystalline, and he has a different set of moves in each stance. So I'll show how it works. He starts with Aftershock. You can even see in his life bar, and he's like the brown, rocky, kind of traditional looking, clobbering time tremor. <laughs> right. So he has three moves when he's in Aftershock. He has. His rock punch, it's exactly what you'd expect. He just kind Lunge of comes punch. in, yep. it's safe on block, it knocks you away. You can use it to end your strings. He also has up punch, which is a pop-up starter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Which I'm pretty sure he also had in, in MKX. MKX. Yes. And then lastly, he has his ground pound, where he comes in, he does a low, and then pieces out. So if you have a really good overhead, for example, that for example, maybe you have a mid-screen overhead that's almost instant. You can also have a mid-screen low that's almost that's instant. so good. Which is pretty awesome. And that's just a knockdown. Hard, exactly, yeah. right. And so, so you would say Aftershock, he's sort of the, the attacker. Yeah, the I would offensive say it's, one. it's yeah. offensive, it's, it's pretty basic, it's the most kind of standard tremor. Right. Kind of one, the one, you, like, base, which mm. is why it's the default one. Right. So then, at any time, you hit R1, and he'll come out, and he'll cycle to the next one which is metallic. Now he has an entirely new set of moves, and they're all lava-based. He has his lava burst, which is like your mid-range, safe, kind of, there's no reason not to use it. Mm -hmm. He has an anti-air lava burst. Mm -hmm. And then this is really, really cool. He has his bowling ball, which is a low, <laughs> and if you hold it, it becomes an overhead. Okay. So he's got kind of mid-range attacks, 
plus a 50-50 from full screen that you can mix up. Oh, that's awesome. Again, so straight then, out of MKX. It's so cool. Right, and so then that gives you also zoning abilities or a projectile if you have a character that is lacking that. Exactly. Which is awesome. Or if you have really good projectiles and you want to double down. Double down. Mix-ups, you can go that way. Right. And maybe you have like really great anti-air, and this can be a low that is going to make them want to jump. You know, you could put out Lee May's Lantern and then be doing this. It's just all kind of... I think the creative freedom in the cameo system is the coolest part of the game, right? Really Can't agree cool. more. Yep. And then lastly, one more stance. Okay. Crystalline. People have been looking forward to this. Uh, yeah. I, Ed kind of teased it, and I think a lot of people guessed some of the stuff he could do. Yeah, totally. So in Crystalline, he has two attacks. He has Crystalline Burst, which will reflect projectiles. Cool. And then the big one. And a lot of people were like, there's no way they're going to do that. He did. Crystalline Armor. So once he has crystalline armor, it's doomsday for the opponent. <laughs> nope. Oops, I was too slow. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. So he's gonna summon the armor. And he will just absorb attacks like an absolute badass. Beast. Right. And um so the way this works, the cycling, is once you do the summon, like I said, it'll go through. And it goes in a particular order. Mm -hmm. And if you hold down an R1, it goes the opposite order. So you gotcha. could go from Crystalline to Aftershock instead of s and skip uh, Metallic in between, if that makes sense. It's like yeah. the cycling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there is, there is definitely a skill a skill yes. gap on like people who can go back and forth exactly. and know what you're doing. So like, yes, they have a lot of moves, but yes, you have to be cycling. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to manage you that. Are gonna, right, you're going to have to manage the order that you're in because you cannot go straight from Aftershock to... Or sorry, you can't go from metallic to aftershock unless you go down, like you cycle right, back, right. if that makes sense. I just confused myself. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll make sense because there's only three. Right. So right. it's rather you want to go which order. And then there's a really, really, really cool twist, I think, really sets him apart. When you call him out, it's an ambush move, and you can transition into any of these attacks. So let me show you. Right now I'm in, Trist I'm in Crystalline. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I go to Aftershock and then immediately enter a back in R1, he will immediately, while still on screen, go into the ground pound. Like so. Oh, interesting. Or next in the cycle is Metallic. So let's say I wanted to do the bowling ball. I can do it that way. Or mm. Crystalline, I can do instant Crystalline armor. Interesting, very cool. So that means all of his moves can also be ambush moves if you commit to bringing him out, swapping, and then immediately doing the move. Now that's going to be somewhat risky. They can get you out of it. You're going to have to be where you are in the cycle and all that. So there's a lot of risk and a lot of thought that's going to go into it, but it's extremely powerful if you master the cycle. And I think it's one of the cooler mechanics in the game for uh, cameos. Excellent. Very cool.